In this video, we will demonstrate the basic functions of the Hawk 2100Q portable turbidimeter, including full range calibration and measurement of high level turbidity samples. This is a view of the 2100Q and components, including the carrying case, the meter, printed basic user manual, full user manual on CD-ROM, silicone oil and oiling cloth, a package of six sample cells with caps, three stable cal calibration standards at 20, 100, and 800 NTU, a 10 NTU stable cal verification standard, and four AA alkaline batteries. There are also open positions inside the case to store the optional USB plus power module and its accessories. On the top of the instrument, are the power button, sample cell holder and lid, alignment arrow for sample cell orientation, and attachment location for a lanyard. The backlight keys are located on the side of the instrument along with the module compartment where the optional USB plus power module is installed. On the back of the instrument are the lamp compartment, and the battery compartment. Slide the battery cover off in the direction of the arrow and install the batteries as shown. In this view, I will describe the keypad functions. This is the settings key used for meter setup. This is the calibration key. The up and down keys are used to scroll through menu selections and enter numbers and letters. The left key is used for calibration verification or to exit to the previous screen. The right key is used to read the sample, select options, and open submenus. The data management key is used to view, delete, or transfer data. The 2100Q is capable of storing 500 readings, 250 verifications, and 25 calibrations. When you turn the instrument on, you'll be prompted to format the date and time. Use the up or down keys to scroll through the menu screen to find the date and time format that you wish to use. For the purpose of this demonstration, I will select the month, day, and year with a 12-hour time format. Use the up or down keys to select the month. Use the right key to scroll to the next option. When the date and time are formatted, push the right OK key to save the information. Press the settings key for meter setup. The 2100Q gives you the option of assigning a sample ID and operator ID to associate readings with a particular sample location or individual operator. Scroll to highlight sample ID and push the right key. Select Create New ID and enter the new sample ID using the up, down, and right arrows. Press the left or exit key to return to the settings menu. Now I will use the same key functions to create an operator ID. There are many other possible meter settings, including display contrast, power management, sound, and security. Please refer to the full user manual on CD for specific instructions. We are now going to perform a full range stable cal calibration, which is required when testing samples above 40 NTU. The EPA and Hawk recommend calibrating your instrument quarterly, but your regulator may require more frequent calibration. Before calibration, prepare all four stable cal standards by shaking vigorously for about 10 seconds. It is very important that you let the shaken standard sit undisturbed 
for three to five minutes before use to allow air bubbles to dissipate, which can interfere with the measurement. For measurement of samples above one NTU, it is not necessary to prepare the calibration vials with silicone oil. Press the calibration key and follow the instructions on the display. The instrument will guide you through the three-point calibration procedure. Carefully wipe each standard with a clean, lint-free cloth before inserting into the instrument, being careful not to touch the glass with your fingers. Insert the sample cell with the orientation mark aligned with the orientation mark in front of the cell compartment. Close the lid and press read. After completing the calibration, press done to review calibration details and store to save the results. After the calibration is stored, the instrument automatically goes into verification mode using the 10 NTU Stable Cal verification standard. Acceptance criteria can be set to determine passing or failing based on the user's requirements. The factory default is plus or minus 10%. Repeat the calibration verification if the verification fails. If the verification fails repeatedly, recalibrate the instrument. Most regulatory authorities recommend weekly verification. Press the Write Done key to return to the reading display. Note the Calibration OK icon, indicating that the calibration verification was successful. Press the Left key to enter the Verify Cal mode when performing a verification between regular calibrations. To select the reading mode, press the Up or Down key, then Select. When measuring clean water samples or samples without settling particles, use the normal or signal average reading options. When measuring samples above 20 NTU containing particles that settle quickly, such as construction site runoff and other environmental samples, it is recommended that the instrument be in the rapidly settling turbidity or RST mode. Obtaining accurate turbidity results for these types of samples has historically been difficult. The 2100Q uses an exclusive algorithm to calculate and continuously update the turbidity reading of the sample based on the accumulated trend of the real-time measured values. The algorithm then extrapolates the trend to the turbidity level prior to the settling of the particles. Scroll down to the Rapidly Settling Turbidity mode and press OK. The target icon indicates that the instrument is in Rapidly Settling Turbidity mode. Samples should be collected in plastic or glass bottles. All bottles must be thoroughly cleaned, rinsed with turbidity-free water, and dried prior to use. Volume collected should be sufficient to ensure a representative sample allow for replicate analysis if required, and minimize waste disposal. Before pouring the sample into a sample cell, invert the sample bottle several times to ensure a homogeneous mixture. Do not shake the sample to mix, as this may introduce bubbles into the sample. Immediately after mixing, fill the sample cell, then dump to waste. Repeat this a second time, then fill the sample cell a third time, being careful not to introduce air bubbles, and screw on the cap. Hold the sample cell by the cap and wipe clean with a lint-free cloth. Invert the sample cell a few times. insert it into the cell compartment, and immediately press the read key.
The 2100Q shows the calculated RST value while displaying intermediate results below. The 2100Q has the ability to store 500 readings, 250 successful verifications, and 25 successful calibrations. To view this data, press the Data Management key and select View Data Log to view the stored data. If you select the Reading Log, you'll view all sample data listed by date. If you select the Calibration or Verify Cal Log, Calibration or Verification data will be listed by date. If you select All Logs by date, an icon will appear to show whether the stored data is from a normal reading, calibration, verification, or rapidly settling turbidity reading. To transfer stored data to a PC, first insert the module into the instrument. Select the Data Management key. Scroll down and select the Send Data Log option. Scroll down to the Filter Data option and select. You can filter data by data type, time interval, sample ID, or operator ID. We are going to select all logs by current month. Exit once and scroll up to Send Data. Press Select. Press the exit key twice to go back to the main display. Remove the module from the instrument and connect to a PC with the provided USB cable. The PC automatically recognizes that the module is connected, similar to a USB storage device. Open the data log folder, then open the specific data file. The data is stored in XML format and can be viewed and downloaded with any spreadsheet program without further manipulation.